every now and again, just randomly, we decide to pick, just pluck a movie out of the list just at random when when there's just random movies to be picked and I decided that we needed some humour today because we always like the humour. So today we're watching Clerks and as always I have no idea. None. If you like this video please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning on saying you haven't already then please subscribe, also comment, um, post notifications, check out Patreon, all that fun stuff to help the channel grow and I love you forever. And let's just start because let's let's it's it's very stormy and windy and rainy and miserable outside that's why i'm cozy in my pajamas today so we need some happiness and laughter and like sore ribs and sore face from laughing is what we need today so that's what it better be let's do our big fat shout out to our top tier patrons brian med and dorp calico jack re 35 stuart hooten nate wilson mike Filippi, len anaquad Eric Twice, Ethan Thrall, Wayne Kreika, Liam Christie, Robert Inman, Celeste McAllister, Rob Jones, Ragnar Mersch, Alonzo Torres, Bri Bill Bryant, Chase Bauer, 1000th Ghost, Roger Freeman and Eric Warren. Clerks and play. Oh, that's lovely. Very nice. That boy looks like he's got a hernia, poor boy. I've never seen that before in my whole life. Doggy! Wait, why is it in black and white? This is a black and white movie and it's filmed in the 90s. Why don't you call Randall? Because I'm f***ing tired! Oh, swearing in front of the dog. Swear you'll be there by 12 when I do it. Okay. I didn't know what I was going to expect with this movie, but it certainly wasn't this. I assure you, you're open. I think they could tell you're open just from the door being there. If you plan to shoplift, let us know. <laughs> Are you the owner? Do you mind if I drink this here? Sure. Yeah. Are you open? Yeah. I would say no, because I hate that. How long have you been smoking? What is this, a pull? I don't know, since I was about 13. To it, check your lungs. What in the hell is that? That's your lung. <laughs> What's this? It's a trach ring. It's what they install in your throat when throat cancer takes your voice box. This one came out of a 60-year-old man. Oh, God. Lovely. Used to put the cigarette in this thing and smoke it that way. Uh. Do you really want that? Well, if it's already too late, I guess no, we'll just... No, no. It's never too late. <laughs> Not when you're only 20. And it certainly beats this. Oh, Jesus. Ah, picture of a cancer-ridden lung. Keep it. Yeah, they put them on the side of the packets now. Well, if you're gonna drink it in here, uh, I'd appreciate it if you don't bother the customers. And hide the lung. I'm sorry about that. Have your cigarettes? Why did you put gloves on to take it out, but not put back? What a gentleman. Jay and Silent Bob. Yo, what's up, baby? What's up, sluts? What? You're cute as hell. I like to go down on you, suck you, line up three other guys, make like a- Boys, you're disgusting. 53. Fifty-three dollars a week on cigarettes, come on, would you- Yeah, that's- it would be that a day now. Here! Now I am a customer! I'm gonna buy some Julie's gum! Yeah, Alright, I'm a customer! Why is he so angry? Why does he care what everyone else is doing? Yeah, smoke my big yeah, yeah, see, he's scared now! Cause he sees the threat we present! <laughs> that would never happen. Ooh! You're a Chulis gum representative? <laughs> Pack of cigarettes? Pack of cigarettes? Then quit, you should be going to school anyway. <laughs> Please, Veronica, let- Well, he's not the owner, I thought he was. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Amazing. Making a male climax isn't at all challenging. Insert somewhere close, preferably moist, thrust, repeat. <laughs> It's very true. Now, making a woman come, <laughs> therein lies a challenge. Um, yes. Thanks. I agree. Believe me, Don Juan, it, it takes more than that to get a guy off. Just being there, as you put it, is not enough. It is enough. Those are my opinions based on the few women who are goodly enough to sleep with me. Goodly? 
<laughs> how many different girls? Didn't we have this discussion once before? Oh, we might have. I don't remember. How many? She does remember. She's just wanting to check that you're going to say the same answer. You slept with 12 different girls. Including you? Yes. Do you know how many different men I've had sex with? Three. Three? She's lying. Girls always say it's less, and men always say it's more. Animal, mineral, or vegetable? Vegetable meaning paraplegic. Yeah, they put up the least amount of struggle. Oh, oh God's sake. God's sake. Oh, shit, why are you getting up? Unlike you, I have a class in 45 minutes. Oh, there's someone there. <laughs> so where you been, man? Are you still going He's to see something. Home? I'm not sure what, but definitely something. You two lovebirds take it easy, okay? Oh, he was fine. That Show was more of him. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> After he gets a blowjob, he likes to have it spit back into his mouth while kissing. It's called snowballing. Ah, uh, is it? No, I, I snowballed him. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm serious. <gasps> Wait, but you said you only had sex with three different guys. You never mentioned him. Because That's I never sad. had sex with him. <laughs> it's not the same. We went out a few times. We never had sex, but we fooled around. <laughs> it's sex with three different guys. Because I did only have sex with three different guys. That doesn't mean I... Yeah, you have to be specific. I didn't freak out like this when you told me how many girls you f This is different. This is important. How many? She needs to count. She needs a minute. Something like 36? What? Something like 36? Oh, you boys. Boy, what? Something like 36. Does that include me? That's more than a class. 37. I'm 37?! I'm going to class. Oh my god. It's maybe a little bit right to be hungry. My girlfriend <laughs> sucked 37 dicks. In a row? <laughs> He's like, who's your girlfriend? I love you, don't feel sick. Every time I kiss you, I'm gonna taste 36 other guys. <laughs> oh, I didn't think of it like that. Ugh. Yeah. Hey, try not to suck any dick on the way through the parking lot. <laughs> He's following her. <laughs> That's funny. I walked in there the other day, that son of a bitch was sleeping. I'm sure he wasn't sleeping. Are you calling me a liar? He pretty much just did, yeah. Well, if you'll just tell me the title of the movie, I'm sure he'll hold it for Don't you. Don't hurt yourself, buddy. I'll go to Big Choice Video instead. Rude. I would pick up that tape and chuck it at him. Forgot your keys. Well done. I approve. Tape I want is right there in that wall. Really? Which one? Dental school. You came for that too? That's a movie I came for. Dental school? Is that a movie or is that training for something? It smells like shoe polish. Go open the store. Oh, he's the... Th oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't get that. <laughs> I think one fight a day, Veronica, is about all I can stomach, thanks. What do you two fight about anyway? Blue jobs. <laughs> How long did you date Caitlin? Five years. Chick only made you nuts, man. She cheated on you how many times? Eight and a half. Half. I get blitz, pass out in his bedroom. Caitlin comes in, jumps all over me. In the middle of it, she called me Brad. She called you Brad? She called me Brad. And that's the half. I say crazy shit during sex. One time I called this girl mom. Lovely. She was supposed to meet Brad Michael in a dark bedroom. She picked the wrong one. She didn't even know I was up. Right. Got oh, yeah. And you think things would be different this time around? They are. When she calls me now, she's a different person. Why is she calling you? I think the arguments Veronica and I are having are some kind of manifestation of a subconscious desire to break up so I can pursue a more meaningful relationship with Caitlyn. Right. Let's see Caitlyn. You, Veronica, Caitlyn, and Caitlyn's fiance. Oh, I want to see Caitlyn. Yeah, what are you looking for? Happy Scrappy Hero Pop. Huge black cotch with pearly white cum. Girls who crave cotch. <laughs> 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 oh, wait a minute, uh, what was that called again? <laughs> Happy Snappers, Hero Pups or something. Well, it's just that I talked to her all the time and she never mentioned this engagement. That's why I'm thinking- Why is it on the counter? Who asked her out once and got shot down, and, and this is his revenge by putting this bogus article- Why are you watching? In English, come on, berserker, girls think sexy. Come oh, on, I wouldn't hear it. Some making fuck bells <laughs> That's fucking funny, man. What? What is it with these boys? You're all a bunch of funnies. Suck my cock bells That's beautiful, man. It is not. You know what I just watched? Me pulling a can off some morons fist. Return of the Jedi. Uh huh. And say more. What did you like better, Jedi or The Empire Strikes Back? Empire. Blasphemy. 
Vader's his father. A uh, hand gets frozen, take away by Boba Fett. It ends on such a down note. It was a crazy ending. All, all Jen I had was a bunch of Muppets. There was something else. Muppets! <laughs> I could never put my finger on it, but something just wasn't right. And you figured it out. Return of the Jedi was when we got to see Princess Leia in our bikini. The average stormtrooper knows how to install a toilet main. All they know is killing in white uniforms. That's true. Innocent contractors brought in to do the job were killed. Casualties of a war they had nothing to do with. Makes sense. Then I realized whose house it was. Dominic Bambino's. Babyface Bambino? Who's that? I knew who he was, and based on that, I turned the job over to a friend of mine. And what about your poor friend? I knew the risk involved in that particular client. My friend wasn't so lucky. That song's saying Chewbacca. A roofer listens to this, not his wallet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the strangest, strangest conversation I've ever heard in my whole life. They say so much, but they never tell you if it's any good. Because you have to decide for yourself. Are either one of these any good? I don't watch movies. You need to set up a YouTube channel and a bit and get everyone else to tell you. You mean you haven't heard anybody say anything about either one of these? Well, what are they? Tell me what they are. Screw you! Oh, 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 you've angered him. This guy's going through all the eggs, look. This has been going on for 20 minutes now. What? Said he has to find the perfect dozen. Perfect dozen? Yeah, each egg has to be perfect. You're not allowed to do that. It's not like you laid the eggs yourself. I give him five more minutes after that, I'm calling the cops. Good idea. I'm not even supposed to be here today. Two packs of cigarettes? Oh, I think you should have left by now. It must be 12 o'clock. It's of endurance tests and stuff. I asked him why nobody yeah. ever called the manager. He said it happens like that came out a chicken's butt. Important to have a job that makes a difference, boys. That's why I manually masturbate caged animals for artificial insemination. Lovely. That's disgusting. What's a jizz mopper? He's the guy that cleans up the nudie boots after each guy jerks off. Never been in a nudie booth? No. I mean, these chicks do it all. They insert things into any opening on their body. Any opening. Excuse me? Using filthy language in front of the customers. You both should be fired. You've highly offended me. He's very, very offended. I think that's offensive. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> I think you can see her kidneys. That's not offensive. This job would be great if it wasn't for the f***ing customers. Jesus, I'm gonna hear from the boss tomorrow. Oh, would you loosen up? Who is the boss? I don't think he cares. The milkmaids. As if somewhere beyond all the other gowns is a container of milk that won't go bad for like a decade. I do that. <laughs> I do that. Do you have that one with that guy who was in that movie that was out last year? <laughs> that sounds like me. That movie with that guy. I am home and I brought you some lunch. What is it? Peanut butter and jelly with the crust cut off. She's feeling guilty. I'm glad you've calmed down a bit. Hi, Randall. 37. Shut up. <laughs> Time to get finished. Eight, but I have a sorority meeting till nine. Can we go out for coffee? Sure. Good. Coffee at nine at night? Are you animals? <coughs> go and mind your own shop. Well, when the hell was someone gonna tell me? He promised me he'd be here by noon. Jesus, when does he get back? Tuesday? <laughs> Told you the boss didn't care. All right, thanks. Bye. For a month? Can you f***ing believe this? Just shut the shop and go to your hockey game. Because you're buckled. You shut up with that shit, it ain't helping. I don't yell at me, pal. Just shut the shop. If boss doesn't care, you shouldn't care. Hey, wait a second. Do we have to play at the park? You feeling limber? What? I'm gonna pay for these Gatorades. What do you care, you shoe see? polish smelling mother Hey, I have a responsibility here. I can't have everybody grabbing free drinks. Your boss doesn't care, so neither should you. On the, on the roof? I think that's highly dangerous. After first period. You should have just left the shop open. And did your thing on the counter where they could take money and leave money. Because yeah, that would be the normal thing to do. I'll whip your ass any day, pal. It's easy for you to say. Join them. Here. Give me a stick, pretty boy. Come on then, you play too. Yeah, it's game over. Hey, are there any balls down there? About the biggest pair you ever see, Diggleberry. <laughs> I 
I don't know what these random words are that keep popping up. Well, uh, that depends. Uh, you got maybe a toilet in here? Yeah, but it's for employees only. Maybe a toilet. I'm not so young anymore, and I'm, how do you say, a little uh, incontinent? Just go outside. Men can do that. If you're a pregnant woman, you have to let them pee. It's illegal if you don't let them pee. What kind of toilet paper you got back there? Actually, it's kind of rough. It's gonna knock the hell out of my hemorrhoids. Oh, so it's that kind of toilet that you need. I remember when I was in primary school, we used to get, like, waterproof tissues. They were, like, tracing paper. But, uh, maybe I could have something in the back there to read on paper or something. Uh, one of the magazines, you got in the back over there, behind the counter. The porno mags? <laughs> He's not going in there for a poo. He's going for something else. No, not this one. Maybe the one you got underneath this one. It's already read that one. Julie Doyer died. Yeah, right. No, I'm serious. Embolism in her brain yesterday. Who, who died who? But wasn't she one of the illustrious 12? Yeah, number six. Had sex with a dead person. Ugh. Don't think of it like that. Probably gonna be the social event of the season. <laughs> you hate people, <laughs> but I love gatherings. Isn't it ironic? <laughs> It's nothing compared to how my cousin Walter died. How did he die? He broke his neck trying to suck his own dick. Oh, uh, how? No. I don't like this. Yeah, right. I don't so like repressed. that. Because I never tried to suck my own dick? No, but yes, you have. Every guy has. It was a mess. He was on his bed. His legs doubled over himself. Mom freaked out. How the hell do you break your neck trying to? Mad and had a dick in his mouth. Yeah. Balls what? resting on his lips. What? What did you do? You knocked the casket over for was, Christ's sake! I was just leaning on it, it was an accident. Why was you leaning on it? Store. Shut the f up, junkie. <laughs> did he just fart on you? <laughs> Are you open? Yes. You know what? I don't think I care for your ration. Are you open? You're a clerk, paid to do a job. You can't just do anything you want while you're working. If the boss doesn't care, then yeah, you can. I don't know what any of these words mean. Think this guy's out of shape? I don't know. I can't really tell from here. Exactly. You can't tell with clothes on. Hey, that's tight. Solid. Tight. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Say you're ashamed. Leave him alone. Who cares? Are you open? Yes. I'm not out of shape. Oh, who the hell is this? You used to f Caitlin Brie while I was dating her? I'm surprised you didn't know about it, Dante. Everybody in school. Everybody did, yeah. <laughs> or tobacco related products to persons under the age of 18 is regarded as disorderly. Oh, that little girl. Quick Stop employee sold her four year old daughter a pack uh -huh. of cigarettes at four o'clock today. <laughs> Four. She wasn't four. Before the due date will result in a charge of criminal negligence and a warrant will be issued for your arrest. What the hell? Do you live somewhere? Sure. How about the beach? I like the way you think. <laughs> this is so strange. Dante. What? Caitlin. Let me see her. I can't believe it. I haven't seen you so long. <laughs> That's what you look like. Let's see you dance, Silent Bob. Wow. Is this all you do? You prefer drastic measures to rational ones. So are you really getting married? No. Veronica's gonna walk in on you two. That's when I hopped a train to come back here because I knew you'd be a wreck. Was I right? Wreck is a harsh term, but... He was a wreck. I have come way too far and studied too damn hard to let my education go to waste as a housewife. Good for you. Well, if I'm so nuts about you, then why am I having sex with an Asian design major? Jesus, you're so caustic. <laughs> you're serious. You want to date again? I want to be your boyfriend, yes. Oh. Uh... Tell me you wouldn't want to go out with me again after all the talking we've been doing. Oh. Why would you want to go out with her after all the cheating that she did? Let me take you out tonight. <laughs> On a date? Yeah. A real date. Dinner and a movie. Oh, wait, wait. You're supposed to go and see Veronica tonight. Walk on the boardwalk, then get naked somewhere kind of private date. I hear that's kind of a popular date. Uh-huh. God, here I am throwing myself at you, succumbing to your wily- You throw yourself at everyone. You ask me who I choose. I choose you. 
But she doesn't really, so... And I should break the disengagement news to my mother, which is going to cause quite a row, considering she loves saying. Who doesn't? Well, me, I guess. Do you love Dante? Because I don't think you do. Hey, what happened to the uh, walk and the nakedness? I'm easy, but I'm not that easy. Oh, yes, you are. From what I hear, you are very easy. Yay! Bust the move. <laughs> No, I might be leaving early to go out with Caitlin, in which case you're going to have to lock up the store tonight. All right, but you're missing out. Chicks with dicks. Chicks with dicks. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Maybe he does. He seems to like a bit of everything. He went home and changed for the big date. God, isn't he great? No, this is great. <laughs> it's so bad, but I want to see it. Oh, hey, Caitlin. Break his heart again this time, and I'll kill you. Nothing personal. <sighs> he was mine first. Oh, that was so cute. I don't know why he's going back. Makes no sense. Not after what happened last time. Hey, Caitlin's in the back. You might want to check on her. She's been back there a long time. There are no lights back there. She may be dead. Uh, what have you just been doing? Who's in there? Do you always talk this weird after you violate a woman? Maybe the Asian design major slipped her some open. What? There's someone else in there. I'm gonna just lay perfectly still and let me do everything. Am I missing something here? Okay. Oh my god, it's not the hemorrhoid guy, is it? And like, we didn't kiss or talk or anything. He just sat there and let me do all the work. It's a hemorrhoid guy. Oh, so we didn't just have sex in the bathroom? No. <laughs> I know who it was. Are you sure there was someone back there? Well, I didn't just f myself. Jesus Christ. God, it would be sick. Wait till he comes out. Who is he? What time was this? Mm, I don't know. What time did Hopkins? He's dead. Um, like. He's dead with a boner. <laughs> Why is he still got a boner if he's dead? <gasps> Can we take it now? Go ahead. Wow. Wow. Could she, you know. The body can maintain an erection after expiration. Look at the size of it. Did he have the adult magazine when he came in? Oh, uh, no, I, I gave it to him. He asked me for it. Oh, my God. What a mess. How did she come to have sex with a dead man? She thought it was me. What kind of convenience store do you run here? <laughs> very, very, very weird one. <laughs> the guy's just sat in there with the <laughs> oh wow. Alright, if you hate this job and the people and the fact that you have to come in on your day off, then why don't you quit? And do something about it, yeah. It is, you just up and quit. There's mm -hmm. other jobs. They pay better money. I've always agreed with that. If you're not happy, do something about it. If you want Veronica, then be with Veronica. But don't pine for one and the other. He's spitting facts. You need to listen to him. She'll get over f***ing a dead guy. My mom's been f***ing a dead guy for 30 years. I call him dead. <laughs> my potty lid was closed. And instead of me lifting it, I shit my pants. Lovely story. <laughs> That's laziness. 179. Paid a good man. I want to hear him talk. You better say at least one word. What's a good play with nothing on it? Meaning? I don't know. She was seen all shit. She used to f***ing piss herself all the time. <laughs> Come on, son, <laughs> Let's get the f*** out of this f***ing jib joint. <laughs> you know, there's a million fine-looking women in the world, dude, but they don't all bring you lasagna at work. Most of them just cheat on you. Well said. Best sentence in the whole movie from Silent Bob. I love her. So that's it. He doesn't love you anymore. He loves Caitlyn. And he... Oh. I'm going to put the hookers in Times Square to shame with all the guys I go down on now. Will you let me... You've been waiting until the time was right and then you were to dump me for her? It isn't like that. You're a martyr. It is like that. I don't know what you want, but I'm not going to sit here holding your hand anymore until you figure it out. I agree. Because I loved you and wanted to see you pull yourself out of this senseless funk that you've been in. Loved. She doesn't love him anymore. And having him tell me that was just the weakest move ever. You're spineless. Veronica, I love you. Well done, you, Veronica. I would have kicked him again. One more time before you left. Dante? 
boys are just so bloody stupid when girls are involved. Why did you tell Veronica that I was going to dump her to go back with Caitlin? I I was doing... The only things I know are the Skittles, the Milky Way, and the Snickers. Everything else, I'm not, I have no idea what they are. Forget it. Oh, really? What did I do that was so wrong? What don't you do? He told the truth. Out of a funeral by violating a corpse, and then to top it all off, you ruined my relationship. Corpse. I mean, what's your encore? You ruined your relationship. He did the rest of the stuff, but you did the relationship thing. You've been discussing how he felt with his present one. You want to uh -huh. blame somebody, blame yourself. I agree. We look down on them as if we're so advanced. Well, if we're so f***ing advanced, what are we doing working here? It's got you there. <laughs> Where's tiniest woman? How does that work? A berserker. Na, 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> You're closed. Wow. That was something. Customer with Vaseline and rubber gloves. <laughs> Incompetent sound editor. <laughs> um what the hell did I just watch? I used to think, up until like a second ago, that 2001 A Space Odyssey was the strangest movie I've ever seen. Now I think this must be the strangest movie I've ever seen. It was like, I have no words. I really have no words to, to explain what I've just witnessed. First of all, it was in black and white for God knows what reason. It was... Yeah, it was funny and it was silly, which you all know that I love. I love the funniness and the silliness. But it also came with such a strange, odd, weirdness. It just was... <laughs> just don't know. I just don't know. I don't... I was just a way to start trying to make sense of it by saying that there was just no need for him to keep the shop open the whole day because his boss obviously didn't give a crap. But then I remembered that you don't have to make sense of everything and now I'm just like, okay, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> it is not getting best movie ever because this, but hey, they spoke so fast that I didn't understand half of what they were saying or I didn't he pick up on half of what they were saying. And then like the rest of it, it was funny or it was enjoyable. What was the random words that kept popping up as well? Right, that's it. I'm not gonna ask any questions. I think we just need to leave it where it is. Is that it? There's no more, there's not like clerks to or anything. There's not anything else that I need to watch that's like that. I think I can just leave that one in the past. <laughs> Although, there's some of the bits with the hemorrhoid guy and the girl in the bathroom. That's bloody hilarious. There was a lot of bits that was like laugh out loud funny. Um, and if it wasn't for them, I would have thought that that movie was total pants. I liked Silent Bob. He was probably the best. I didn't understand Dante. He was like, or da Dante, Dante. Dante. It's Dante, isn't it? He was a strange one. It was the silent one that was my favourite character. <laughs> I'm saying no more because I have no words and that's that's all I have to say. It's just, it's just it is what it is. It is what it is and sorry if it's like your favourite movie, best movie ever if you think it is. Um, it probably is someone's. It's a boy movie. It's definitely a boy movie again. And th that's all I have to say about that. If you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe. And also, um, post notifications, comment, check out Patreon, all that good stuff to help the channel grow and I love you forever. I am going to go and not think about what I just watched. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mwah.